black or sun Won't you come Won't you come What's up? So right now we're driving to a neon lights museum so we can finally test this bad boy out and get some nice sexy cinematic shots. Woohoo and best part is we're filming all of this on, on an iPhone. iPhone. Hashtag shot on iPhone baby. <laughs> Why is the traffic so much? What is going on? This is a Sunday. Sunday. But look at the sun. Oh, look wow. at this anamorphic lens. Look at that flare. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa. How far are we? We're apparently to Google Maps. We are two minutes away and then we can start to film on. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? I'm so sorry to put you guys through that. That sound was not anticipated. When we got the track, we were like, this is really nice lo-fi chill beats. This will be really good to showcase the Neon Lights Museum, but we had this <coughs> kettle, it's so annoying. Yeah, she wasn't impressed. All right, we're gonna try this lens on a nice studio setup, let's go. So what did we think about this lens? I think it is a really good lens to have especially if you're in an environment where you can't take a DSLR or your mirrorless camera or something and it's gonna be very obvious. So this thing saves the day, great B-roll solution, even for vlogging and just handhold and just give yourself a little bit of more of a artistic opportunity. I think this is really good. The only feedback I'd give is the app needs a bit of fine tuning. Sometimes when I open it after a while, it doesn't give me the setting which I last used. But every time I open it, it seems to be getting better and better so really go uh, really good job to the food to the <laughs> moment guys you're really nailing it really appreciate the work you're doing and yeah i'm still making a video even though i'm sick as a dog bloody headache everywhere but what can you do ow and the audio is all on iphone so this whole video is completely shot on iphone except for chloe shooting on a Canon right now, just to kind of show you that we are shooting an iPhone. Any last thoughts, Chloe? Um, let's see, well, it's definitely a lot easier filming on a little mobile phone compared to this big thing, especially when you're in those sorts of situations where, again, like the Neon Lights Museum where no DSLRs are allowed, or if you're in a candid situation where, uh, you, know, you can't have this big intimidating thing right in people's face. Yeah, exactly. You know, and like, like right now, I'm trying to figure out like the freaking focus. But then like the iPhone and the way that the moment it's convenient. Works, it's all it's all kind of set. It's convenient, automatic. You don't have to let the gear get in the way of the work. Exactly. And the other thing which really makes this lens shine is the lens flares. And we didn't probably really showcase the the lens flares in the Neon Lights Museum, but we took it to IKEA. I thought that was a fun place to actually show you the lens flare. So if you're in low light situation, this really makes your, it supercharges your phone. And it's important to remember that this is an iPhone 10, so the audio might not be good. The iPhone 10s audio is better. Depends what mobile device that you actually care about using. So doesn't matter what phone you have. It's all about the lens, invest in good lens. These guys produce really good glass. First lens I've got. So I'm excited to see where the future takes us. And if you like this video, stick around, subscribe. Love to have you on board. Give us a like if you like, and yeah, we good? I wanna go to bed. Bye.